Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you a super easy, vegan friendly, palm free lip and body balm formulation. That's right, you heard it correctly. Now, one of the problems when you're creating a balm is, of course, beeswax is so good because it's a flexible type of wax, which means when you're making a balm and you use beeswax, you add some hardness with a little bit of flexibility in it into your balm formula. But when you use other plant waxes, for example, carnauba or candelilla, they're much more brittle. So while they'll help your balm set harder, they're much more brittle. They also don't have the same sort of playtime that beeswax has. And beeswax, of course, is not vegan friendly. So what do you do? You need an alternative. And sometimes you might go to another type of wax which contains palm. So how do you please the consumers that want a vegan friendly and palm free balm? It's a little bit difficult, but I have some great solutions for you. Let me show you how. These are the products I'm gonna show you how to make today. Now they are super easy, even for small producers. And what I'm gonna be using is a natural Vaseline replacement. This material here, it's called natural Vaseline type A. Now you can get this either from Naturatech in large quantities or from smaller suppliers. We've got the inky name on the screen for you. So you can get this from smaller suppliers. They may call it something else. Now this is a natural Vaseline replacement. So it's got a similar consistency just like Vaseline has. Now you're not restricted to just using these materials in a balm, it's just that if you combine them in a certain way, they set into this beautiful balm consistency. I have stability tested these at 55 degrees in an incubator and they don't melt. That's the other great thing about the formula I've put together for you. It's super easy, you can put your own uh, essential oils or flavors in there, plant oils, make it unique, put in some pigment. But using these two materials in particular, which are of course vegan friendly and palm free. Now this one here is a vegan friendly alternative to lanolin. And again, similar consistency, similar skin feel, similar properties to lanolin, but a vegan friendly alternative. This is Plant Soft Earl by Naturatech. Again, that's the trade name in bulk. Or from smaller suppliers, we've got the inky name on the screen for you. It is available from smaller suppliers. They may just call it something else. So we've got the inky name on the screen so you can see what these two materials are if you're purchasing from smaller suppliers. Now, all we need to do is heat these. And then I've also built into the formula for you to add your own plant oils, as well as antioxidant, any fragrance that you want to add as well. So let me put these together and show you how super simple this is, and then we'll add some pigment. Once they're melted, we can remove them from the heat. We can add our plant oils, our antioxidant, and you can add any of the flavors that you want at this point as well. And stir to make sure it's homogenous. And that's as simple as it gets for the basic balm. Now you can include whatever plant oils you want in here, but if you wanna use this particular base because it is so easy, it's vegan friendly, palm free, don't alter the inputs of the Naturatech materials. The reason for that is, as I mentioned, this is still stable, it's still a balm product at 55 degrees. One of the issues you have is if you alter the base too much because of the melting points of those materials, if you were to use other butters or other ingredients in different proportions, for example, you'd find that in warmer climates, it could start to melt. Whereas this particular product I've created for you is very stable, even in a 55 degree incubator, but it's still a lovely, soft, playable balm, as you can see. Now, if we want to turn this into a product with some pigment, just like that, and you can see again how easy it is to play with the product 
and the playtime spreading the product, we can get some great color in there. Uh, we simply add some pigment. And stir this one through too. Now you do a hot pour with this product, so you do need to keep it above setting point when you're pouring it off. So you wanna make sure that the product is nice and homogenous before you start pouring it off. Keep it above its setting temperature. And then you can pour it off and as you can see, sets into a perfectly stable, again, heat tested at 55 degrees. It did not melt, it did not go soft, but still plenty of playtime, plenty of color in that lip balm product. And that's how easy it is to create this vegan friendly, palm free balm product. As I mentioned, don't alter the proportions of those base materials, but you can definitely alter the type of plant oil you add. You could make that up with butters. You can add pigment as I showed you. You can add all sorts of flavors or fragrances for body products or essential oils for your body products as well using that vegan friendly palm free base. Those lanolin and Vaseline alternatives are also great in other products in smaller proportions. They definitely add a nice biomimetic skin feel because of their Vaseline and lanolin type properties. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have been asked for a vegan friendly lip balm, so here's a solution. Please give it a thumbs up and leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!